so it's just like all the other batteries. You have a map, you'll have a map on top to show exactly where everything uh, can be found, and also a good aid for uh, restowage when you're trying to put stuff back for return. Yes, which sir, let us say again. This thing lives. Lives on the mid deck, uh, usually in the in camera locker. Yeah, in camera locker. It's usually 57 row, about second locker down with a 35 camera. They always go in the same locker. All of your stuff is not in here, however, because uh, we carry extra mags and film in the locker adjacent to it where the fluorescent light is in your 70 mag. We'll have uh, additional film cans and magazines in there. We'll talk about that here. Uh, this is what it looks stowed. The battery it would be under the finder here. And we, the battery's too big to put on the camera. We've got that new uh, AA type battery and it's just too big to stow on the camera. So we uh, keep it down in the pocket. The camera is stowed with the 5.9 lens on it. We'll talk about the lenses you know, separately later. But uh, that was to help our stowage situation out when we had to move the battery into its, its own pouch. Okay, this is the basic camera. And you know, itself it's not too bad. It's, uh, unfortunately, when you get the battery and the mag and film and all that stuff on it, it becomes a bear. It's about 23 pounds, and that's just not a lot of fun to tote around your shoulder in one G. Consequently, we use the camcorders to try to train you in cinematography. We've got uh, six uh, Sony uh, camcorders on order right now. We've got a couple of the old Codivisions that, that are still working, the only one or two of them. And uh, we'll try to augment your... These are eight millimeters. Right, eight millimeters. Under, under the Sony, eight millimeters. Eight millimeters. It's just like the one we're flying on the DTO 130. Yeah. And uh, try to augment your cinematography with that. Could you give me a checklist? So yes, that, uh, absolutely. Unless I don't have that for the before. Every place in the checklist that we call Airflex out, we have a note in the comments to, you know, uh, to either have the filter on. The easy way to remember the filter is like a pair of sunglasses. Sunlight, you gotta have sunglasses on, so it's an easy, easy tool. Okay, down here is your manual film advance. Um, okay, um, you have fuses in here. You have a .75 amp fuse and a 10 amp fuse that protect camera electronics. And amp and 0.75, they're marked uh, 10 and point uh, and 0.75 on the uh, on the uh, fuses themselves. God, that's just that's the motor, obviously. Well, we've uh, we have called Airflex and we've read all their literature and we've gotten conflicting information there. So I I I kind of danced around that issue in the workbook because it was conflicting. Uh, they keep saying camera electronics, uh, so we pull the fuses at various times to see what stops, and basically most everything stops when you pull uh, pull either fuse. You fly spare fuses in the lids to pull out the uh, multimeter to even check the thing because it's not going to be obvious that they'd be blown. Are you down in there good now? Oh, okay. Well, they, they've fallen out on the floor so many times. They're not falling out now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're focusing uh, things yeah. with your eye. You're focusing, that's right. You're focusing the image on the ground glass. Has no has no thing to do with the focus of the lens. But if this is soft, how are you going to focus the lens? Tight. Good. Is the right. lens automatic on like no. three? No. 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 The only thing, anything auto about the lens is the aperture. The aperture. Right? Yeah, not the focus. So that's uh, so why it's, you it's very. To, you always have to be focusing the lens. Right. While yeah, the lens, shooting. This lens you'll always have to focus. This lens is fixed focus. So you don't. That's yeah. not a problem with this lens. It, it'll. It, uh, since it's uh, focused in infinity, everything looks a little bit soft. It's not the sharpest image in the world. But this lens it's very very critical particularly after you zoom in on something uh, you will really notice any out of focus condition so uh, focus that finder over here is your uh, exposure scale uh, under exposure to the top over exposure to the bottom proper exposure is the dark dot in the middle it's long for two packs right you got 15 volts per pack but then they're in parallel to provide the, provide the amperage and one of the things uh, we don't usually pop these things off 10 in each one Right. You take the whole, you take one module out, right. and you can use batteries from it to power your Hasselblad or right. you know, remember that's why we went. Although we we do have other batteries you can draw on before you get to these, but there's that option. So this pack will actually run longer, right? It, it, will, it has run as many as 15 mags, yeah. full mags of film, and you only fly 12. But of course that was not being real sloppy with you know leaving it standby and the various. It has the capacity to run for the entire load that you carry. Um, battery check. 
we incorporated a battery test in this thing, so that's why you don't have to use this test button to test the battery. Push the button down, you should see, hold it down for two or three seconds, you should see a steady green light, which of course just went out on me. So, this is a, uh, we have in your checklist. You know, is that the way it works? It no, it's going to go out. No, it should not go out. It's just down as long as I hold the thing on. Oh, okay. There's a variety of things you can see. Steady green is what you expect to see. If you see the green go out, if you see a green and red, or if you just see a red, that means it's dropped below the 9.5 to 10.3 volt threshold and it's supposed to illuminate the, the red light. Well, I mean, that just be a little picture. Okay. Is that all I'm supposed to see? Well, if you turn the, if you turn the thing on, you'll turn the switch on there. What you want to do is put it in standby and then turn it on while you're looking at it and you see the little red light flash on. This lens only stops down to uh, F16 or T16, if you will. Um, that's not stopping down quite far enough. And in some environments, looking out the window, we we would be overexposing. And so they built a little neutral density into the filter to, to cut down the light just a little bit more, particularly if you were having to use a 320 film outside. Yeah. Flight ones are a little bit tighter. They've got little spacers in them. Okay. Okay. And now it's flashed down the middle. So let's see. Just around the side about a couple of feet of light now. The loop is traveling. I'll show you. I'll show you how that works in just a second. Ah, oh, well done. Hey. Almost home. Alright. Okay, so uh our vapor. Okay, let's uh let me close this thing up. But before we do that, we're happy with like that was okay, that, yeah, we'll good. take that up here. So much mass over here, it couldn't get started. Uh, so you got to watch that. We're fixing that so that hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let's see. That. Okay, that's the way it should be. It's a V belt. It only goes on one direction. It's like putting a bicycle chain on. Okay, you get one side started and then just rotate. That's going to go race cars and cost you. There you go. Right by just like that. That's that on now you see no when twist I, and When you do that, you're also turning the film inside. Right, right. And uh, also doing stuff to the film that right. you just spread it and right. it's probably flat. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Okay. Don't now, move it too much, right? One way to do that while you're still you see what happened when yeah. we did that? Yeah. You don't want that to happen. And the reason that happened is because this movement moves. Reality, you almost uh, want to engage the, uh, the engage. Keep going. It'll 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 pull those right in. Uh -huh. There you go. That's, yeah. that's so all you need. If do. you hold this with your hand like you're doing, mm -hmm. is that that's okay? That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're just slipping the drive belt down there, you're not really really doing anything of major damage at all. Okay. So did that mess up the? Uh, Shouldn't, it shouldn't. This, these are not affected by anything that happens out here. Once these two pins are captured, that's going to set the same. Well, let's see what you're talking about now. Look, 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 look back and forth. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And see, so we have this only direction in this era, which is, you know, that's the way it goes. If you turn it backwards, what happens is it starts piling up because this doesn't take up. It doesn't take up real. That's so Take up real. Yeah, when you, you just put that. the belt on, right? Yeah. You just took up this tension. Oh, that's right. We pulled it in down here, though. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. it was kind of bunched up down there. It's been taken up by mm -hmm. the tension mm -hmm. in there. All right. 
Close mid, and you can fill the counter. And you can see the way this is working. You, know, you can watch this opening and closing through the front of the uh -huh. through the front of the camera. And what's happening is as the film is being exposed, it is pin registered in place. It's not moving at all while that shutter is open. As the shutter closes, it's closing now. This pin grabs it, pulls the next frame down. These are going to go back in. It's going to make the next exposure. And so it's going round and around and around like that, doing that 24 times a second. Which gives you 1 60th of a Gives you about, yeah, 1 one sixtieth of a second exposure. So you can imagine that stuff's flying around in there mm -hmm. pretty pretty quickly. So uh, whenever you're doing this, unplug it. <laughs> Gadget there. That's, that's it, right? Mm hmm. Close the lid and you can't come count. That's that's the lid. And that's that's not a twist. That's just a 90 degree turn there. That's, that's a whole. It's just it's just. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. yeah. It's either okay. lock or unlock. Yeah. What a. Is uh, is this a flight camera? Yes. So that what I feel here for pressure. There's, no, there's not really no much of a decant there or anything on that lock. Yeah, see what it, it is. Raise close. You know what it is. It's, it's just a, a, it's it's just cam, a cam lock. Yeah. And it's not, it doesn't even, doesn't even get tight. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we're going the direction the arrows indicate, it's fine. Okay, okay if you start going back. Because we're always coming off speed to take off. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to reset your film scatter. That's the next yeah. step. Right. Now, you can tell you've got power to the camera whenever you've got Digits in that lower display. Now you that push. power comes from really two sources. AC. It's no, it's DC. DC. It comes off cabin payload bus A or B. No, this is this is all manual, mechanically driven. And you reset this mechanical counter teaching. And the mechanical counter just push that button and it resets your. But, uh, so so that's what these two mean. are nothing more than redundancy for these. That's right, two. right. These are electronic. These are mechanical. So you, you do everything. When you yeah. reset that, you reset that, and you reset that. that, that two buttons. Two buttons. Two buttons. The one amp and the five amp circuit breaker. The one amp is for the display. Uh -huh. Only the, the digital display. The five amp. And the five amp is for the electronics of the camera. Uh -huh. The motor. The motor. Yeah. So it's okay. We have just you know. A, Exposure reminder again, 1 60th second on the spot meter. Orange filters for outside filming, clear filters for inside filters. Uh, These filming. settings are on the lens. The, the scene that you're looking at is good for 1 60th of a second. Right. And you'll, you'll adjust and that's your exposure. That's the only speed, and that speed is fixed on the camera. Yeah, the yeah there's, there's no, you can't control that 60th of a second. Really. There's a way to do it, but you won't be getting it. Uh, on off switch, just that's what it does, turns it on and off. Which is duplicated by the buttons on the, 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 yeah, the, on handles. the handle if you were to use that. Yeah, let me. Uh, splitter in there. And one of the simplest ways to make sure it seats right is to always hold that locking ring so it doesn't slip over. You hold it, apply the lens in, and you line this sort of up with the longitudinal axis of the camera. And it should just go right into right into place like that. And then just go ahead and, and snug it over it. It's just, it's a, there's no there's no detent or no positive. It's just it's a clamping ring. It's not a, a locking ring look at the scene, determine where you want to frame, what you're shooting, what the action is. Uh, once you've determined all that, you can go ahead and, and focus the lens. And you want to make the scene sharp like the circle. And, and the scene that you focus, so you want to be where your main action is. Oh, sure. Even though 
you may have something going on over in the corner. If that's not your main action, you don't want to focus in the corner. You want to focus where your main action is going on. Do you focus, focus on that with magnified or unmagnified? Right, when it's magnified. So what you may have to do is tilt it down so you can see the center of it. Get, get Don, he looks wide awake there and ready to go. Maybe something a little bit more defined than that. <laughs> Check, check your eyepiece again, Now Let me let me let me put this on wide up here and do your eyepiece again. Just looking at that black spot. Right on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can do it. I can do left eye, right eye. If you can find his badge, his badge might be a good thing. Oh, you can't focus on the mic. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Bang on. Okay. Well, I guess you don't try to focus on the badge. You get 10 yeah. that time? Huh? You get 10 that time? Well, I don't focus on the badge. Yeah. Yeah. It's all a ghost. Hold still there, Mike. You're not going to have a great deal of depth of field. You can just look at, look at where it says Mike on his shirt. Yeah. And just get that in focus. Not not paying any attention to that little circle. That's gorgeous, kind of. Yeah, where in Arkansas do you go? Uh, just very very right around. Here. You good? How'd you get closer to the camera? Thank <laughs> you. 